As valued shareholders, you are aware of your company's abiding commitment to serve a larger national purpose. This compelling vision is manifest in our credo of Let's Put India First that has inspired every thought and action over the last 20, uh, 20 years. A passionate endeavor to build an exemplary Indian enterprise has lent wings to your company's aspiration to be a national champion, creating multi-dimensional value. This commitment is manifest in many ways, in the transformation of your company into a multi-business enterprise, in the creation of world-class Indian brands that capture larger value within the country, in establishing state-of-the-art brick and mortar assets that enrich the nation's industrial might, in enlarging competencies for a science-based and technology-led future that find expression in the ITC Life Sciences and Technology Center, in the multi-pronged social investments program that helps in building capacity of the weakest in society, and in the pursuit of a low-carbon growth path that helps in combating climate change. Taken together, these constitute powerful drivers that enable your company to create enduring value for all stakeholders, contributing meaningfully to the Make in India vision. Let me take this opportunity to delineate a few significant aspects of this wide-ranging contribution. Close to two decades ago, when you placed me at the helm of your company, we chose a strategy of multiple drivers of growth to enlarge ITC's contribution to the national economy. Executing such a strategy meant going against the grain of wisdom at that moment. Experts counseled that we must stick to the knitting by focusing on a century-old traditional business by shedding all other activity and abandoning any further diversification. However, your company held faith in its strength of conviction to invest in the businesses of tomorrow, leveraging the opportunities of an, an emerging economy that best matched its proven competencies. Over time, a robust portfolio of businesses emerged, leveraging synergies from a company's enterprise strengths, encompassing deep consumer insight, cutting-edge R&D, intimate rural linkages, superior agri-sourcing, world-class manufacturing, brand-building skills, culinary insights, innovative consumer packaging, digital technology, and an effective trade marketing distribution and logistics network. Today, your company has an impressive presence in all the three sectors of the economy, namely agriculture, industry, and services providing unique sources of competitive advantage by harnessing the diversity resident in different businesses. All this has enlarged your company's capacity to contribute to national priorities and create sustainable livelihoods on a much larger scale. In the agricultural sector, your company's agribusiness is one of India's foremost marketeers of agri-produce in world markets. This business has nurtured the globally acknowledged ITC Ichopal that has empowered rural communities in 40,000 villages, serving more than 4 million farmers with dramatic improvement in their productivity and income. In the industrial sector, your company has emerged as one of the fastest growing consumer goods companies over the past 10 years. The packaged food portfolio has expanded to include biscuits, cookies, snack foods, juices, multigrain atas, salt, spices, confectionery, instant noodles, and ready-to-eat products. Dairy products are already on the anvil. Personal care products include soaps, shampoos, shower gels, antiseptic liquids and hand washes, skin care creams, talcum powders, face washes, perfumes, deodorants, and fragrances. Education and stationery products include notebooks, and a wide range of scholastic products. The lifestyle retaining business offers branded apparel in the premium end and also caters to the youth fashion segment. In a relatively short span of time, segment revenue in the new FMCG businesses has crossed the 9,000 crore mark. ITC is also India's number one producer of paper boards of world-class standards and a clear market leader in the value-added segment. In addition, your company is also the largest producer of printed packaging 
for the consumer goods industry. ITC's products are manufactured in over 250 owned and outsourced units and exported globally to 90-odd countries. In the services sector, ITC hotels are an epitome of luxurious hospitality and a trailblazer in green hoteliering. Your company's hotels business is a multiplier of employment and aligned to India's tourism vision. In addition, the company's subsidiary, ITC Infotech, is one of India's fastest growing mid-tier information technology companies. In tandem with the growth of your company's consumer goods business, the distribution and logistics infrastructure has also been substantially augmented. This network today handles a diverse product portfolio comprising multiple brands and scores of SKUs, covering directly over 100,000 markets, servicing over 2 million retail outlets across trade channels. Your company's strategy to build new engines of growth has enabled ITs to make a growing economic contribution. Economic value added from the company's operations increased from 3,290 crores in 95-96 to over 37,300 crores in financial year 2014-15. Your company makes a substantial contribution to the central and state exchequer. In financial year 2015, your company contributed 27,000 crores to the exchequer in the form of various taxes. In addition, the foreign exchange earnings of the ITC group over the years aggregated 6.5 billion US dollars, of which agri-exports constituted 57%. This reflects your company's contribution to the rural economy by effectively linking the small farmer to international markets. I had earlier spoken to you on the critical need for a country to possess world-class brands based on ownership of intellectual capital. I truly believe that the Make in India vision will be significantly reinforced when national champions create winning Indian brands, brands that can in the first instance compete and win against the dominant international players in the Indian global market before venturing overseas. The economics of building winning Indian brands makes for a compelling case. Apart from market leadership and a sustained source of value for the enterprise, such brands can also anchor the development and competitiveness of the entire value chain, comprising small and medium scale enterprises, thereby multiplying employment opportunities many fold. Creating world class Indian brands can therefore capture much larger value for the country. However, this is easier said than done. Winning international brands have years of innovative lineage behind them. Creating market dominance of a domestic brand will need several generations of committed leadership. International experience suggests <clears throat> that creation of such domestic brands can benefit immensely from a nurturing environment obtaining in the countries of their origin. Your company today possesses a vibrant portfolio of brands that continue to demonstrate vitality. These brands have been crafted assiduously over the last few years to the highest quality benchmarks. In the food space, popular brands include Ashirwad, Sunfeast, Dark Fantasy, Dream Cream, Delicious, Bounce, Bingo, Yamitos, Be Natural, Candyman, Minto, Gamon, Kitchen of India, and Yippie. It is a matter of pride that your company's Yippie Noodles has stood out for its impeccable quality during the recent controversy that engulfed many other brands in this category. The superiority of Yippie Noodles arises from the highest standards of quality that is built into the product right from the stage of buying raw materials at the farm gate by our company's agribusiness division, securing traceability and custody of the supply chain. Ingredients and raw materials are also tested at ITC's world-class life sciences and technology center. Your company's vital brands also include Classmate and Papercraft in the education and stationery products category. Essenza, Fayama, Vivel, Superior, Engage, Savlon and Shower to Shower 
in the personal care product segment, Will's Lifestyle and John Players in the lifestyle retailing business, Mangaldeep in Agarwatis and AIM in matches, Ashirwad and Sunfeast have already garnered consumer spend of over 2,000 crores each, while Classmate and Bingo have crossed the 1,000 crore mark. It is our company's aspiration to achieve, at the very least, a revenue of 100,000 crores from the new FMCG businesses by year 2030, reinforcing our resolve to be the number one FMCG player in India. It is my belief that the most enduring source of competitive advantage lies in the continuous creation of superior intellectual capital that recharges the company's capacity to delight the consumer. With, the, with this conviction, your company took a leap of faith to significantly enrich and enlarge its R&D capability by setting up a state-of-the-art life sciences and technology center in Bengaluru. You'll be happy to know that your company's agenda to create intellectual capital is being driven by a 350-strong, diverse pool of highly qualified, world-class scientists. In a short period of time, your company has filed as many as 351 patent applications. The distinction does not lie as much in the number of patents filed as in the fact that the intellectual property resident in these filings belongs also to the country of origin, that is, India. <clears throat> the use of such assets, therefore, will enable the value to be captured within India. This is quite unlike many a patent that is filed in India on behalf of overseas entities, whereby the use of such intellectual property leads to a continuous flow of royalty out of the country. Going forward, I am sure the intellectual prowess of the Life Sciences Center will lend renewed vitality to ITC's competitive strength. Your company is investing in India's future by building world-class assets that will contribute to the country's competitive capacity. This ambitious investment plan underpinning your company's support to the Make in India vision envisages an outlay of 25,000 crores in 65 projects across the country. Currently, over 20 projects are underway and in various stages of development. These include state-of-the-art integrated consumer goods manufacturing and logistics facilities that are being set up across regions, contributing to balanced economic development. Once these plants are commissioned, it will not only add substantially to your company's competitive ability, but also spur livelihood creation along the entire value chain. I am sure you derive justifiable pride in your company's recognition as a global exemplar in sustainability. ITC's vision to contribute to a sustainable, secure, and inclusive future has brought about transformational change particularly in areas of his engagement in rural India. Apart from ITC's e Chopal, that has helped raise farm productivity and incomes, your company's social investment program has created large-scale sustainable livelihoods along, along the environmental enrichment. These widely acknowledged initiatives include afforestation, watershed development, livestock development, women's empowerment, primary education, and vocational training. In addition, the company's health and sanitation initiative will complete over 10,000 toilets by December 2015. Your company's resolve to chart a low-carbon growth path is manifest in several dimensions. Over 43% of energy consumed by your company is now from renewable sources.